Hey guys, welcome to uh, Macintosh Tips. So, uh, on this episode, we're going to show you how your Mac can pretty much read to you. It's a pretty cool app. It's already built into your uh, Macintosh up under system preferences, and it's very easy to control. So, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Let's say we have a web browser, uh, open up our web browser, and we're going to go to Wikipedia. And we're going to type in, uh, let's type in Google. Alright, so we have Google up here. And let's say we don't want to read the history. See all that? It's very, 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 very long. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of that, all right, or as much as we want. So I'm just going to select this first paragraph here. Make sure that's selected. Uh, you can go ahead and just leave that up and go to System Preferences. Go to Speech. When you get into System Preferences, go to Speech. Click it. Uh, go to Speech Recognition and make sure the speakable items is on. Make sure that's on. You'll probably see something like this uh, in the corner over here, which has Escape or something like that. And that's just... Um, We'll go over that uh, in another video, but make sure that's on uh, for your Mac to read to you. Then go over to uh, text to speech and pick your system voice. They have a lot of voices. They have male voices. They have uh, uh, female voices. They also have other voices here, uh, which you can check out um, right there. So I'll just go with the. Uh, I'll go with Kathy. You know, make a woman talk to me. All right, and uh, you can make Kathy speak as slow as she wants, and you can uh, play it to see how it sounds. Isn't it nice to have a computer? Alright, or you can make it go as fast as you want. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Right. Uh, we're going to switch back to Alex here, see how he sounds. Alright, and we're going to go to a fast one for Alex. Hi, I'm a new voice for Leopard. Alright, really fast. And or you can just found normal. Normal's kind of like a mix between them, obviously. Hi, I'm a new voice for Leopard. Hi, I'm a... And to me, that kind of sounds choppy. I kind of go right in between the normal and the one right above normal on the right of it and uh, I try and do that and it sounds very very smooth to me hi I'm a new voice for leopard alright now you can change this as much as you want and make it uh, how you want your Mac to fit to you so very simple there so once you did all that go down to uh, speak selected text when the key is pressed make sure that you have uh, that checked and right beside it you'll see set key make sure you go ahead and click that and pretty much you uh, click this little bar and you uh, Pretty much uh, choose a uh, a combination of keys. So I've chose c Command, Shift, and S, and you can choose whatever you like. Uh, and then hit OK. Make sure you can kind of remember that. And then uh, press OK when you're done. All right, you can close out system preferences at this moment. Go back to your web browser. Make sure it's selected. Make sure your volume is on. And pretty much hit the same buttons. So uh, Shift, Command, and S. Google began in January 1996 as a research project by Larry Page, who was soon joined by Sergey Brin, 2, Ph.D. Students at Stanford University in California, 5, they hypothesized that a search engine that analyzed the relationship between websites would produce better ranking of results than existing techniques which rank results if I want to according stop, to the number I'll of times the same the search buttons. term appears Shift, on page command S, S, search And now it stopped. I want to start again. Shift, command S. Google began in January 1996 as a research. So uh, it's just something uh, useful, a quick tip you uh, might want to use, make your Mac read to you. Um, after that, if you have any more requests, message me. We're going to go over this uh, this button here in another video, but uh, I didn't want to make this video too long because I don't want to make it uh, discouraging for people to look at. Uh, I just want to make them quick and short uh, and very informative for you guys. So watch out for this one. We'll uh, talk about this here in a second. It's pretty neat. And uh, more speech commands. And after that... Uh, bye. Peace.